What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is DJ Ricardo And we back with another episode of the DJ Ricardo Podcast I believe this is episode number 7 That's right, we doing it, we doing it You already know, <clears throat> first things first We're gonna get into the album, that's right The Ricardo Effect On all streaming platforms Once again, the Ricardo Effect by Ricardo Lancelo on all streaming platforms you can get it on tiktok snapchat instagram youtube music spotify apple music it's everywhere along with these two new singles i just dropped barstow and math that's right i did an album in july i dropped my album i just dropped two singles in august we're gonna drop some more singles probably got another single coming out next week no bullshit black versace busters look for black versace busters that's coming out probably next week Keeping these singles going We're gonna keep dropping these episodes We're gonna keep dropping this music Welcome back to the DJ Ricardo Podcast Alright, and now um, You know, the next thing we're gonna talk about Is It is what it is podcast That's right, my nigga Cameron And Mace, pause Them niggas just got a 30 million dollar deal With Underdog Fantasy That's a, a major group And uh, this went down on August 21st so you already know I've been rocking with Cam for a minute. Pause. You know what I'm saying? No homo. That's how long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out my nigga Mace, man. These niggas was uh, homies back in the day, and uh, they had a falling out. You know what I'm saying? No beef, no bloodshed, and um, it was cool how they was able to get back together. And now they just secured a thirty million dollar deal with Underdog Fantasy. <clears throat> so y'all make sure y'all tuned in. To the it is what it is podcast i catch it on youtube like i said they drop one to two episodes a week talking about the latest and the greatest talking about sports hip-hop and all of the above you know what i'm saying so once again shout out cameron shout out mace securing that bag man <clears throat> and uh the next thing we're gonna talk about is my nigga blueface man shout out my nigga blueface man get well soon even though he was saying it wasn't that serious y'all gotta blow up his phone he quoted don't blow up my phone but the incident was he was at the boxing gym and um at first it was reported by a random he got stabbed man yeah blueface got stabbed they said it was a random and then whack 100 confirmed that uh blueface was texting a nigga girl you know what i'm saying blueface got a lot of girls you know what i'm saying he got baby mamas and doing this and doing that so i don't know if he got time to text another girl but obviously the nigga do and the nigga who girl he was texting Weren't too happy about it Reporting I don't know none of this I'm going off of what Wag 100 said Shout out my nigga Blueface Hope you get a speedy recovery Keep that music coming I play this nigga in the club every night Thought Deanna still get him going I'll mix it in though Yeah, thought Deanna still get him going on me So shout out my nigga Blueface Get well soon And uh <sighs> The next thing we're gonna talk about Man, I hope this shit ain't even true, bros Like for real I really hope this ain't true But um You already know where I'm going the nigga Steve Harvey, yeah, the nigga Steve Harvey is supposedly his wife stepping out. Now, I personally, I, I hope it's not true. I don't know what to believe. Y'all tell me in the comments how y'all feel. Do y'all believe it or not? But re reportedly, he, she's been cheating with his chef and his bodyguard. The only way I can see that being true is because he's too busy getting all this money. You know what I'm saying? He hosted these shows. Be on the radio. He got the family feud going. So I don't think if she did do it, it wasn't because she don't love him or he wasn't providing or he wasn't a man. It was because of my nigga busy. You know what I'm saying? But I don't I still don't think it's true. You know what I'm saying? I still don't think it's true. I hope it ain't true. You know what I'm saying? I hope they could uh work that out. I'm a cancer. I believe in love. I believe in true love. So hopefully, you know, she ain't like the rest. And uh, the last but not least thing we're going to talk about, yeah, I already know, episode coming to an end, man, ain't really too many events happening in the world to me to talk about, you know what I'm saying, I don't talk about a lot of things, the things I do talk about, I like to have them in a broad perspective so everybody could could uh, feed off of what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying, but ain't too many things been happening in the world, and that's a good thing, you know what I'm saying, let the world be safe, let the world be safe, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, <clears throat> last but not least thing we're going to talk about is the Realest bars from a 2000 song And uh, coming in this week Is The Clips With their first single Well the first time I heard them Grinding You know what I'm saying First time I saw this video I saw it on the TV with a big back 
Just so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, we going back. Yeah. Grinding the clips. You know what I'm saying? We all know the song. Produced by the Neptunes. Grinding. You know what I keep in the line. I'm not gonna sing it. You know the song. You know the song. But it's stay in line when you see a nigga like me shine. <laughs> it's hard not to sing that shit. But yeah, shout out the clips, yeah. And um the uh realest bar came from my nigga Malice, other clips, you know it's two niggas pushing T and Malice, you know what I'm saying? And uh well back then he went by Malice. And uh the bar goes quote Filthy the word that best defines me. I'm just grinding, man. Y'all never mind me. <laughs> and when he said it, you know what I'm saying? I got a double meaning instantly for filthy. You could be filthy rich, you know what I'm saying? Or you could be filthy in dirt because you've been grinding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A grind, you know what I mean? It don't matter what it is. You out there on the block, you out there for three days, you dirty, you filthy, you grinding. You know what I'm saying? But the pockets is filthy too. You know what I'm saying? So when he say filthy, the word that best defines me, I'm thinking he means filthy in two ways to define him. You know what I'm saying? Filthy with the pockets, and then I'm filthy because I'm out here grinding. You know what I'm saying? I'm DJ Ricardo. This is episode seven of the DJ Ricardo podcast. Shout out my new subscribers, man. Y'all leave some comments, and uh, I'm going to get back to y'all in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I'll keep these episodes coming. Like I said, I got another chair. I need to get some interviews going, man, get the streets popping. Once again, this is DJ Ricardo signing out episode seven. One love. Salam alaikum.